Hello guys. Today we're gonna fix this uh, vacuum cleaner from LG. This vacuum cleaner has a problem with uh, not working. It's dead, totally dead. And before it was also has a problem with uh, weak suction power. So I'm gonna try to open this. I'm gonna try to fix it. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first we need to remove the hose. You can press like this. And this LG model is VC3318UNTR. And the second step is we need to remove the front filter. Just push here and lift the filter. Also we need to remove the bottom filter. And also we need to remove these two screws. We need to remove these two cables. This is for uh, on off switch. Okay, the first step is we need to check the small capacitor here, the blue box, the small blue box here. You can take a picture if you want to know the value of this capacitor. Okay, to test this capacitor, it is still good or not or still working or not you need a multimeter like this you need to have the symbol this is the symbol for the capacitance and resistance this is for resistor and this is for capacitor you can switch to capacitor select and in the display will showing NF nanofarad or later microfarad so this is the symbol value for the capacitor and in the writing here I can read 220N it means 220 nanofarad so if I choose this capacitance tester it's supposed to be showing 220N from both legs so I'm gonna check from here and it is showing 209.7 from the reading so the capacitor is already bad or leaking it's supposed to be 220 N or nanofarad and I think we need to replace this capacitor for the good capacitor it will be showing 220 or 225 so it's supposed to be above the value from the written in the body so the value should not be below 220 or showing OL. If it's showing OL, it means open lines or open loop. This capacitor doesn't have a connection from the two legs or two cables here. So definitely you need to replace this capacitor if it's showing OL. Okay, I have this new capacitor. It's in a yellow color. It is the same value 220 nanofarad and F and 275 volts. So that's the most important value that you need to consider when you're buying a new capacitor. The nanofarad and the voltage. You can buy this online from eBay, AliExpress or Alibaba. Or you can find it from your local electronic store near your house. And if I compare this new capacitor it will showing it's supposed to be showing 220 or more select to the capacitance and check the both legs it's supposed to be showing 220 nf or more yes it is showing 224 225 
Maybe you guys wondering why it's not showing exactly 220 nanofarad. It is because there are tolerance value for the capacitor and the resistor. If it's not far from the stating from the body, it is okay. For example here 225, 227, it is okay. Except the value is below 220 NF. For example 100 NF, 150. It's definitely your capacitor is already leaking or damaged. You need to replace it because the capacitance is getting decreased over the time. So yeah, let's uh, replace this old capacitor. Yeah, there are so many types and brand for this capacitor. As long as the value is the same and the voltage is the same, you can use it. And also consider the size. There are also the bigger size capacitor, the smaller one. Try to find the similar size because this machine has a limited space for the capacitor. So you need to consider the size also. So for the easy replacement, usually I just cut the legs, two legs, and I solder the wire later from these legs. It is very hard to pull out all the capacitor legs from here, from the socket. So I'm gonna try to cut this. And then later I will solder the legs to these two cables. It doesn't matter if you are installing like this or like this. Because this type of capacitor has no polarity, it doesn't have negative or positive legs. It is the two-way legs that you can install like this or like this. And yeah, uh, we have almost similar size with the new one. The yellow one is the new one. And maybe I will also need to cut these legs. It is too long, I think. We need to peel out this cable a little bit for soldering area. Maybe I will cut around one centimeter. Okay, it's done. I need to cover this with uh, tapes also to to prevent these two legs is touching each other and make a short. And also to prevent you are getting electrical shock from these two uh, legs if it's not covered. Okay, I think it's done. Let's try to plug it again. And this brown cable is for the on-off switch. We can test. Okay, the machine is not running, so we need to check another components. Okay, turns out I'm checking this socket is loose. So the electricity is not coming to this roll cable. This is the roll cable for the power. And this brown cable before is not connected to the socket. So yeah, that's making the machine is not running. Now I already plug it again. And also I found another problem that causing the suction power is leak because the rubber here is deteriorate this is the rubber that vacuum the chambers here down this is the chamber for vacuuming it's supposed to be sealed very well otherwise it will be leaking from the air so making the suction power is weak 
So maybe I'm gonna fix this rubber also. Maybe you can try to ask for the authorized service center from LG or you can seal this with the rubber silicone glue that available on the market. And yeah, let's try to fix this. And another problem that causing the motor sometimes is not uh, spinning or not running is because this rubber debris coming inside this hole and making the motor stuck. When the motor stuck, it will generating heat and this thermostat will automatically shut down the electric flow. So this thermostat function is prevent the machine from overheating or burning or melting as you can read here. It is written 95 or 85 degrees. That is the maximum Celsius degree. If the motor reaching 95 degrees Celsius heat, it will shut down itself. It will shut down the electrical flow and it will make your device safe from melting or burning. Okay, I'm gonna use this uh, silicone sealant. It is a uh, black silicone sealant. Okay, after leaving this uh, silicone rubber overnight, I think we are now ready to put it back into the machine. Okay, now I'm gonna put it back into the vacuum cleaner machine. Okay, I already plugged to the power. Let's try it. This is for the cable. And this is for the power. Okay guys, thank you for watching. This machine is working again after I'm fixing several problems. The first one is this capacitor. It will need to change because the value is under the normal value. And the second thing is I repaired the sealant rubber from the vacuum chamber. It's already deteriorated and already falling apart. And yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for your like and subscribe. It will support me making more videos in the future. And terima kasih. See you again and bye bye.